Well, hello YouTube. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video on this trike here. Uh, I had some uh, medical issues and had some medical equipment issues and anyway it's just taken me a while. I couldn't make it up to the shop and it was winter time and my wheelchair doesn't do very well in the in the snow but uh, anyway here not too long ago my son and his girlfriend came by and I says, uh, could you uh, maybe take the bed and the furniture out of the spare bedroom there? I'm going to make it into a workshop. So that's what we did. And uh, I built me a workbench in here. And I'll kind of show you what I did here. So anyway, got a little workbench that I'm working on. And I made it up high enough off the ground where I could uh, get my wheelchair underneath it. Put a nice shop light up here and installed a little... Uh, on off switch so we're good to go and uh anyway so let's get on the trike and let's see what i've got done um the rear axle housing that i had in the back i've got it back from the welder he did some modifications on it so we'll go over that in the next video i'm just going to get you guys caught up with what i've been doing here so anyway we had a lot of rust a lot of pits on this thing and and so i got a lot of bondo on here but i think i'm just about done with this frame it's uh it's pretty smooth and looks nice um started up here at the front right here where it welded there's there was some really big divots where they heated it up and so anyway i went to fix that and got the uh, bondo on there and then i started carrying it on down the pipe and it, it started fattening up a little bit, made it really look beefy. So I went ahead and went with it and kind of extended all this out on the sides, make it a little more round, and it has the appearance of being beefier. But anyway, I just, uh, I really couldn't tell how it was looking until I primered it, and then I'd have to sand it down again and more Bondo. So I've done that, I don't know, five or six times. It just, this just took forever. But I'm down to probably one final sand on it, and I'm down to just this part right here. I still got a little bit of a crease here where the Bondo meets up with the uh, bend in it right here. And uh, so anyway, I got a little bit more filling to do from about here to here. And all the body work will be done on this. So the other things that I've done... Um, I added some cable guides down through here. I probably could have put two cable guides on there, but I went ahead and went with three because when I go to run all the wires up and down here, I'm going to put them in a wire loom and I can zip tie them on the bottom so I don't have zip ties going all the way around the, uh, around the frame. And I think it'll look a lot nicer, a lot cleaner. Um, I'm not sure what size I need until I start running wires. So... Hopefully it'll be a little smaller than this one and I can really hide everything. But anyway, this cable will go completely underneath here. So the cable, it'll go underneath up through here. And then it'll be hidden underneath the box, but it'll go back to the rear disc brake here. And I'll figure all that out when I start mocking this up, which is going to be pretty soon. Uh, so the only other thing that I did to the frame was I got a bracket here for the chain guard. Got a bracket here for the chain guard. And then these two pieces in the back here, they were all cut out with a plasma cutter. So the edges were really rough everywhere. All this was just, oh man, <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many hours of hand filing I had to do to get all this where it was nice and smooth. But I think it looks a lot nicer. So anyway, that's about all I've done on this, on the frame. Um, so the chain guards, the old one is pretty beat up. So I kind of, I kind of like the old chain guard because it has a nice, Nice round right here, but man, there was just way too much body work to do on this and trying to get all the rust out of the inside. I don't know if you can see all that rust in there, but man, I would be, I would be a month getting that thing ready to go. So anyway, we took the, all the rust out of the inside. I don't know if you can 
see all that rust in there but man I would be I would be a month getting that thing ready to go so anyway we took the the fender guard off of this fender guard right here off the donor bike and I sanded it all down and it was about an inch and a half too long so is what I did is I took a board and stuck underneath right here and I just wrapped some tape around it to hold it and then I took this one and made a pattern and got my length for the bolt holes and everything and I just put some tape on the on the bottom here put my pattern on there and just uh, drew it out and then I put it on the scroll saw just cut this off used a file got all the rough edges off and then I just stuck it on the uh, trike to see how the uh, how the bolt holes fit up but I got it I got it where all the bolt holes and everything fit so anyway that's ready to go and uh, oh yeah I got these disc brakes I've been working on so this is what the disc brake looked like off the donor bike that's a hundred and sixty millimeter and I'm going with the 203 so is what I did with this <clears throat> set it up there is I just put tape all the way around the edge and then I uh, once I got the tape on I just put a tubberware bowl on top that was the size I wanted and just drew circle all the way around and then I cut the cut across here with an exacto knife and cut out up inside here so it's it's painted on the inside there so the only chrome I'm trying to get rid of as much chrome as I can it's just going to be black and yellow I hope but anyway that leaves the uh, disc nice and free here but I have a black center so I, th I think they're turning out all right um, I still have still have the edges to do here which I'm going to use a uh, uh, top coat nail polish and just put a little bit on the edge of the paint all the way around and that should keep it from chipping. I'm eventually going to get some free floating disc brakes and uh, I'll get the black center and it'll be stainless on the outside but until I get that this will work temporary for me. So, what else have I done? Oh, I've been working on these damn hubs. You can see what these hubs look like when I took them off the trike. You can see how rusted they are, how bent everything is. Well, I'm straightening them up, cleaning them up. And uh, I've actually, let me see here, here's a... Here's one of the rims. This is the uh, this is the back rim here, but uh, these are these spokes that are on here. I think they're 15 millimeter. So anyway, I disassembled the the front, and let me get uh, let me get this thing up here. So I got the. Uh, I got the hub in this one and I went with a 12 gauge spoke so that means that the uh, all these uh, nipples are just a little bit bigger so I had to go through and drill every single one of these holes out just a little bit where these nipples would fit in but anyway we ended up getting that and I'm going to take this all apart and I will uh, I'll paint everything black hopefully try to get rid of all the chrome but I got a really good deal on these spokes. I would have spent like four times as much than what I paid for these ones. So I went ahead and went with the chrome ones. And like I said, it'll be a little bit of work, but I'll paint them. Okay. So anyway, we're getting ready to get all this stuff off the bench here. And then uh, I'm going to show you in the next video the modifications I did to the rear axle housing. And uh, then we're going to get started on the body work and getting it all prepped to mock up. So anyway, until we get to the next video, I'll see you then. Bye.